Hey y'all, um, I know I haven't made a video in several days here. I've been extremely busy um, since my last video going to Wild Waves. Um, I just wanted to bring up one more thing. I probably, um, I don't think I really expressed my gratitude and thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers and contributors to Indiegogo. Uh, I was excited, but I don't think I physically actually said thank you from like the bottom of my heart, like thank you, officially. I mean. You guys have to know that I am, without you, this documentary uh, would not be going on the road, period. End of story, would not happen. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am extremely humbled, and I think this is gonna be one of the greatest stories of, of, of all time as far as getting any kind of uh, feature-length film funded individually by fans. I think it's, I think it's really incredible. So um, thank you so much. Um, I'm, I've been prepping for the trip, but there is another uh, huge development in my life, and um, that is I have applied to the MIT program at Evergreen. It's, it's weird how it happened because uh, all my life I always thought that I would be a good teacher. I thought that I could... I, I just always thought that I had the presence and uh, I just always thought that I really had the uh, presence to, to be able to understand, comprehend, and teach others. It's always been in my blood. It's just never really been a reality for me to actually go and get my master's in teaching and become a teacher. And okay, I haven't physically been accepted yet, but it's going to happen. There's, um, there's four spots available in the program for this fall. That's like less than two months away. 41 spots are taken, four still remain. I'm going to Evergreen right now to uh, catch up and make sure they have all my transcripts and everything. But it should be really easy for me because I just graduated with my bachelor's from the same school. So it's, you know, all, all my information should still be on file. I, I'm really excited about seeing it at Evergreen, even though there were some other schools that definitely were on my list of. Uh, places to get my master's as well, but um, hey, it's home. It's it's familiar. I understand the structure at Evergreen. I think it's a great place. And unlike some of these other colleges that I've applied to, this one can happen this fall, this academic year, which is great. Um, the cost is absolutely amazing too, compared to other schools. Get this: a quarter of tuition. For your master's degree at Evergreen is $2,700 compared to, I believe, $5,300 at the University of Washington and Washington State University. Oh, they're, they're both over $55,000 a quarter. So essentially, I'm going to get my master's degree for under 20, 20 grand. And they have, Evergreen has a 92% placement after you get the master's in teaching degree, 92%. They have a whole office dedicated to putting you into a job in a school. Um, of course, uh, you're probably wondering what uh, area I'm picking for study. Um, English. I, I've always loved English. I've always excelled in English. I've enjoyed it. I've always wanted to uh, take more classes in English, writing and reading. That's the, that's the direction I'm going. I just, that's really exciting to me. Um, except that I still have a lot of work to do in the next couple months. Um, lots more tests. I've got to go up to Seattle and Bothell to take a couple tests. I've got to log 70 hours of community service in summer schools. All has to be done in the next like 35 days. So there's just uh, a bunch of work that still has to be done. But this is my dream. This is my passion. That, being a teacher is is more of a passion than, than living the RV nomadic lifestyle. However, no matter where I am this fall, I will still be living in an RV and being nomadic. And, you know, nothing's going to change as far as that. It's still a passion that I'm going to continue. But getting my master's in teaching is, I can't tell you enough how exciting it is. There's so much going on in my life right now that it's, it's a little overwhelming, but 
two years away from being a certified teacher. I'm, and I, and I'm, I'm, I haven't picked yet my endorsement for uh, K through 12 or higher education. I haven't, I haven't picked that quite yet, but um, we'll see. It's pretty damn exciting. Alright, well I got gas, water, and propane. I'm gonna go dump the tanks real quick. I just stopped off this little place called the Rusty Tractor Restaurant. It's cool because they got all these uh, funky rusty tractors all over the place. I don't know. It's definitely my kind of place. <laughs> it's funky. Anyway, yeah. Um, at least it's not in the 90s anymore here in uh, the Northwest. It's like 75. It's perfect weather. This is what I like. This is what what I'm happy and this is pretty much the norm like all summer it's usually just 75 to 78 is the average so you don't even you don't even need an air conditioner for the most time but like I said you, you have those freak days where it's 98 degrees three days in a row and a lot of people go out and buy air conditioners on those three days and then never use them again for the rest of the summer so anyway all right talk to you guys later